Yo, what is good? It's your boy, New Soda Poet, and you are now watching Team Rich TV. Red and blue lights flash, take lives and they dash. How long till they realize that this life won't last? Who is New Soul, the poet? New Soul is, New Soul is a songwriter. He's a performer. He's a visionary. He's obviously a poet, a uh, filmmaker, pretty much a, a renaissance black man. Okay, I'm the go to this shit, you know what I'm saying? Well, I will be a go to this shit. Yeah, I'm back in my bag. I'm about to go dummy for figures that I never had. I bet on myself. That sneakers I ripped in the past. This is me bad for your hell. I'm nasty with it, but glad. I'm getting to shit on these bitches. I'm crafty with it. I'm asking niggas. Is this city far as you going? If so, I'll feel bad for you niggas. Cause since I got So, my latest album, entitled Formidable, is my first full length, actually. Um, prior to this, I've only ever done EPs, and I knew that for my first full-length project, I wanted something different, something that people didn't hear from me very often, and um, collaborating with certain people who, you know, inspire me and, you know, maybe want to level up myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I collaborated with Al B and DC of Two Throw Minds, I collaborated with K-Shells of uh, Trill Wave, and, um... I wanted to do something to just completely opposite of what you've heard from me before. So it's a lot of R&B, it's a lot of uh, gospel intertwined, it's a lot of, uh, I'm actually doing poetry this time, I've never done poetry on a record before. Formidable was my first attempt at making a non-skippable album, like you can't skip anything on this project. Wow. Check. Who be the baddest, the illest, the politician maybe? Six scenes as far as some vocal seller wavy. Without an ounce of competition, catching bodies lately. But never held the Glock, now pay attention, baby. You seen the dawn, but now we focused on sunsets. And what we wanna do with millions we ain't seen yet. We're making kinds of sexy up in the ballroom. Favorite song from the project, like, it varies from day to day. Sometimes it's GOAT, sometimes it's Put Me On. Uh, sometimes it's Drums of War, sometimes it's, uh, the other side of the sheet. It's just, it, it depends on my mood. There's so many different themes and motifs that I was able to like kind of, you know, write about. I was able to take different angles because when you have like maybe five or six songs, you don't really have a lot of room to move. But when you have 11 songs, like I have on Formidable, it makes the project a whole lot more easy to breathe. You have a lot more elbow room to move creatively. So, uh, as of right now, as it stands currently, my favorite song is Third Degree, but if you ask me tomorrow, I might be something else. I mean, I think when you look at the hip hop videos, you know, obviously you follow the trends that are, you know, of the time. And as of right now, you know, the effect heavy videos are what's trendy, you know, for artists that are kind of on a lower level, the lower tier of music videos. If you have somebody like J. Cole or Kendrick Lamar, they don't need all that stuff because, you know, the video itself is not the focal point because you, you're paying attention to the words that they're saying. And sometimes it's a story they would like to convey. So when you have J. Cole on a uh, video, it's a little different. It's a, it's a different vibe. But after the lower tier rappers, like uh, the people you see on Lyrical Lemonade, you know, they kind of need those effects to keep the audiences engaged and interested. So I don't think it's necessarily like they're just following trends. They're just kind of doing whatever they can to make themselves relevant and make themselves more visible. My influence has kind of come from all over. Um, I'm more influenced by R&B than I am hip hop. Um, people don't know this about me actually. I've never said this on camera before, but my voice when I rap comes from a rapper from the 80s. His name is the DOC. He's actually from Texas. Uh, he did a lot of work with Dr. Dre and NWA back in the day. Um, but I liked the way his voice sounded when he rapped because it sounded real authoritative. You know, a lot of my favorite rappers are like Chuck D, KRS, Rakim, people who have like distinctive voices. And when I started rapping, I'm like, I need a voice like that. I need somebody that, I need to be somebody that when I rap, I command attention. 
So, uh, you know, my influences kind of start there, but like I said, man, aren't being influenced anymore. You know, I listen to Anita Baker and D'Angelo and, you know, uh, Aaliyah and Prince and Maxwell before I listen to a rap album, you know, especially when I'm in creative mode. I think social media is extremely important when it comes to building an audience and a fan base because that's where people connect with you the most. You can have the most personal music in the world, but if people don't feel like they can connect to you, which you know social media allows you to do, it allows you to interact with your fans directly. You know, okay, if you look at like Will Smith's fan page or his Instagram, like you know, he's constantly taking cues from his followers. He's constantly like you know looking to the people who make him the millions of dollars in the box office. Like, all right, well, what, what do you want to see next? What do you want to you know see me do next? You know, so social media is extremely important to build your audience. It uh, it kind of gives them a sense of they're closer to you than they would be if they just listened to your music. So it's extremely important, especially now. I don't listen to a lot of local artists. I listen to the people that I know would give me a good product. Um, and it, it's nothing against the other rappers. It's just, you know, my energy is a little different from most people. You know, um, if I can't relate to it to some level, um, or if sonically it doesn't speak to me, I can't listen to it. So it's a lot of rappers out here that I don't listen to. And it's nothing against them at all because, you know, their artist is like I'm an artist. And, you know, if you ask them to put my stuff on, they probably would tell you the exact same thing. They can't relate to it. So, um, I'm gonna say no. I don't listen to a lot of them, but there's a, a small handful that I do listen to. When I was growing up, I wasn't allowed to listen to hip hop at all. So, when I finally did get into hip hop, I, I had to dig through my mother's crates and, or my grandfather, not my grandfather, I'm sorry, my uncle's uh, tape deck. And so, they don't have the new shit. They have Public Enemy, they got NWA, they got, you know, LL Cool J. So, like, these are the artists I grew up on. And I've noticed that, well, I noticed back then that they had a lot more to say in terms of what the political climate was or what the state of, you know, black consciousness was. And that spoke to me more because, you know, as a, at a young age, I was getting to be pro-black, you know, like as I got older, you know, I became more uh, enthusiastic about my heritage. And so when you got rappers like KRS-One, you know, preaching about, you know, knowledge itself, or when you got like Rakim, who's putting like the Nation of Islam, like directly in his whole imagery, it's like, that shit speaks to me more because I'm on that type of time right now, because I can relate to it. Um, and nowadays I listen to more modern rappers and, you know, m more modern rappers have an influence on me, especially now more than ever. You know, uh, J.I.D. or Boss or, you know, you got the J. Coles of the world, you got the Jonah Lucases of the world. And these guys are very influential to me because they found a way to bridge that gap between commercialism and traditional hip hop. And that's where I'm at right now. First video, right? First video, man. How you feeling? I'm scared. It's alright though, you know. Have a good time, everybody. Have fun, you know. That's what we here for. Yeah, it's ABO December two. Master Roshi. His first video. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're a servant. He went on my server, you too. Exactly. Conversation we have for another day. Y'all be a ruler and a servant. Red bottles and black suits, green backs looking pristine, but still we stick with the roots. Never had it like this, but when I do, I'll give it all back. And when I hire the first video, I'll keep it all black. Yup, yup, yup. First video. Shit. Are you already know who's at the helm, Sir Silver, the creative director? <laughs> so, how you feeling about the video so far? I feel like doing some saucy things the whole nine, so. Bit. Okay, <laughs> feeling. 
You remember when we recorded that thing in your closet, dude? Like, that was oh nine. Still rap, so, Excuse you know, me. I'm flying. What's up? Hey, what's up? Like <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, go stream my album. Go I'm tired of working that sprint. I'm tired of being broke. All right. <laughs> All right. Good, my good, project good drops in December first. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's my goddamn? Fun question. Uh, the name New Soul came, um, it was supposed to be a genre of music actually. Uh, back when I first started like recording music, I wanted to create uh, a subgenre that included pretty much all of soul music, you know, hence the name New Soul. Uh, I wanted to bring in jazz and I wanted to bring in R&B and I wanted to bring in a little bit of gospel and you know, um, a friend of mine was like, well, I'm not messing with your current rap name right now. What if you changed it? And I was like, well, to what? And he was like, well, what's that genre of music you said you wanted to make? New Soul, there you go. Yes, that's your new name right now. That, that should be your fucking name, New Soul. And I was like, all right. I fucked with it. Yeah, that should fit me a little bit. And like the more I worked with it and the more I said it in records, it like it kind of stuck. I have a cover band. Uh, our name is Far Cry. We are a, uh, a six piece. Um, shout out to Tulu, Larry, Rob, Cheese, Erica, you know. It's, it's a lot of fun performing with them. I learn a lot, um, especially under the tutelage of uh, Tulu. Uh, you know, he old and crabby, but he, he got a lot of wisdom. It gives me an opportunity to get on stages and do what I love and get paid for it, you know. So that's kind of why I'm still in this thing. And I also like the camaraderie of my brothers, you know, being on stage with Rob and Cheese and Larry, you know, and uh, our newcomer, Miss Erica, Erica Claiborne, shout out to you. You've been doing an amazing job, by the way. Um, but being able to be on stage and explore all of these songs that I grew up on and also some of the new stuff that I really, really like and that I will never get to perform as New Soul, but I come here uh, with Far Cry and I get to just let loose. You seem very distracted today. Is something on your mind? Not really, no. Are you sure? Uh, I mean, you know, having a nine to five while you're in pursuit of a music career, it's, it's, it's imperative because everything in this music business costs money. You know, you can't just record a hit record because that studio costs money. And then like when you do have a hit record, it's cool that you got it, but like, what you gonna do with it now? You know, if nobody ever hears it, it, it doesn't mean anything. It's a lot of great records that got left on the table by not just underground artists, but also like mainstream artists who could not afford to promote their music properly. Can I have your body now or you gon' make me wait? Don't wanna rush, but ain't much more of this than I can take. I see you in my favorite dress and start to salivate. Just wanna sit you on my face. You roll your hips, I lick your lips, we levitate. Ain't no time to waste. The night is young and everything, but watch how quick it change. Fierra's cold, my bed is warm, so baby, won't you stay? Uh, you can find my music pretty much on every major platform. Uh, Apple Music, Spotify, uh, YouTubes, Deezer. I don't know if niggas use Deezer. <laughs> Amazon MP3 title. You can find me on social media. Let's see, IG. I'm uh, I am New Soul. I am on TikTok. I don't use TikTok that much. Uh, same thing. I am New Soul. And uh, you can find me on Facebook under Chris Joseph Bessard. I post a lot of my updates on there. So, you know. Yo, what is good? This is your boy New Soul the Poet, and you have been watching Team Rich TV.